you know, I hate to be that guy, but Philadelphia isn't winning the finals, dude. They're, they're not winning the finals this year, man. James Harden is unbelievable. Regular season, James Harden is one of the best scorers of all time. You guys see this flag behind me. I hate making these types of videos. I hate being negative, but the Sixers aren't winning it. They're not winning it this year, and I'll explain why. Welcome back to the channel, though, man. If you guys like daily NBA videos, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll try and keep this video short for you guys because I am sick, and it sucks. It's miserable, and uh, I feel like garbage right now, but I had a lot of fun watching the Philadelphia 76ers tonight take down the Minnesota Timberwolves, but I feel like everyone's overreacting here. I feel like everyone is overreacting. This is something that Houston as a fan base has felt for obviously not this season but going back to last year the eight years before that this is how houston has felt every single year you have james harden what can't james harden do tonight 27 points eight rebounds 12 assists what can james harden not do but come playoff time it, he's just different he's just a different player and defenses play him differently and I also want to make a note, I'm not trying to roast the Minnesota Timberwolves here, but let's be real. It's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Philadelphia is better even without Ben Simmons. Minnesota has a very promising future. Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell, Jared Vanderbilt. But this is a playing team at best. This is a playing team at best. I'll give you this. Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, the whole Philadelphia 76ers roster has enough talent. They have enough depth. They have all the coaching. They have everything you need to win a championship. But James Harden, he folds. He folds. A good example would be Steph Curry when it matters. Steph Curry, when it matters in the playoffs, especially in the NBA Finals, he's just different, dude. He's just different. I hate I hate saying it, man. I hate saying it. Obviously, I you know the Houston Rockets are what kind of got my basketball career going. They got my YouTube channel going. James Harden is pretty much one of the biggest reasons as far as why I started making videos on this channel. Outside of Swaggy P Games, who got me into making Houston Rockets content and NBA content in general, James Harden is right there. James Harden is one of my favorite basketball players of all time, right behind my boy Derrick Rose. Michael Jordan, LeBron James, James Harden's top five. Easily, undisputed top five. My favorite basketball player of all time. Top five. Tobias Harris isn't that guy. There's enough on the Sixers to make me worry. Tyrese Maxey, young player. Matisse Leibel, young player. These guys, come playoff time, defenses change. Lanes shut down, passing lanes shut down, double teams up here, triple teams up here. Teams guard James Harden in the playoffs completely different than they do in the regular season. Completely different. They put a huge emphasis on him and they say, all right, we're going to have... Chris Paul literally said this in an interview. We are going to do as much as we can to neutralize James Harden and have the rest of the Houston Rockets beat us. And what's going to happen? They're not going to beat us. You throw two bodies on James Harden in the playoffs, everybody else has to step up. Now, the one big thing this year is Joel Embiid's a superstar. Joel Embiid is, like, clearly a superstar. Obviously, like, there's, you know, injury concern with a guy like Joel Embiid who's dealt with it his whole career. But let's just assume Philadelphia stays healthy for the playoffs. And I'm not trying to go at Philadelphia. I'm not trying to go at their team. I'm just saying I don't think it's happening this year. In fact, it's not happening this year. It's more of a statement. It's not more of, like, a hypothetical in my brain. I've been through this. The Rockets have been through this. The Nets have been through this. James Harden tonight was on his best behavior, as Skip Bayless pointed out. And there are very few things I agree with Skip Bayless on, except for tonight. When it comes playoff time, James Harden is just not James Harden. He's just not James Harden. 
If Philadelphia's third star wasn't Tobias Harris, I'd maybe feel a little bit different. If their third star was maybe Kevin Durant, I'd say, obviously, Kevin Durant, Joel Embiid. That's enough right there. You throw James Harden into the loop, it's over. It's over. James Harden doesn't have to do that much. If you're playing behind Joel Embiid, runner-up MVP, and KD, the best scorer on the planet right now. The most efficient scorer on the planet right now. One of, if not the best basketball player, shooter especially, right now. So I hate saying it. But Philadelphia, the game tonight was awesome. The game tonight was awesome. James Harden got to the free throw line nine times. Joel got to the free throw line 13 times. That is 22 free throw attempts between the two of them. That's something you'll see all season. That's one of the big reasons why I get so worried about a guy like James Harden come playoff time. The calls aren't the same. The calls just aren't the same. Whether you like it, whether you don't like it, whether you're indifferent about it, referee play, referees, the calls are different in the playoffs. They let these guys play a little bit more. Pat Beverly had a lot to say about Joel Embiid at the free throw line tonight. That's what happens in the playoffs. These guys just don't get the calls you get in the regular season. It just doesn't happen. So I hate making this type of video uh, because I'm rooting for the Sixers. I'm not specifically rooting for the Sixers because I live here in Chicago. I'm a big Bulls fan. I'm rooting for the Chicago Bulls. Philadelphia wins a championship. I will have zero complaints and I'll be extremely happy. I'll be extremely happy. I'll be extremely happy for James Harden. I'll be happy for Joel Embiid, the Sixers franchise in general. But this is something Philadelphia is going to get used to relatively soon. He's on his best behavior tonight, man. He's on his best behavior. And uh, I hate saying it, but I do want to get this video out of the way before we get into the playoffs, before we get into when things really start cranking up. Because I don't want to be like, oh, I changed up. I made a video a couple hours ago saying Philadelphia has all the tools. They they have everything you need to win a championship. They got three point shooting. They got defense. They got offense. They got the coaching. They have all you need. They got the stars. They got the superstars. They have it all. They got the young players who are providing impact. Tyrese Maxey, Matisse Thybul. But I'm not sold. I'm just not sold. And I'm sorry, James. I'm sorry, Philadelphia. Um, and once again, I'm oh, please prove me wrong, James Harden. Please prove me wrong. Tonight we saw James Harden moving off ball which is something you don't see very often. My thing is, I don't know how long that lasts. I don't know how that how long that lasts. Now, if you're getting 28 points from Tyrese Maxey on an every night basis, we might have a different conversation. But come playoff time, I have a feeling a guy like Tyrese Maxey is going to be guarded differently. It's going to be more intense. The pressure's there. You have a young player, not really used to this. That's where I think you really run into some issues. Joel Embiid's probably going to be a stud the rest of the season. He will be a stud the rest of the season, as long as he stays healthy. But Philadelphia, they're not winning it. They're not winning it. Do they get to the finals? I highly doubt it. Uh, I, I really highly doubt it. I'd put it at, like, less than 25% chance they get to the finals. I think a team like Milwaukee would shut them down instantly. Uh, but we'll see. Drop a comment down below. How far is Philadelphia going? I got to get out of here. Nose is starting to run, all that good stuff. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. I'll see y'all later.